us close our eyes and each of us decide with God why you are present here for this class. That decision that you make is a prayer through Christ our Lord. Okay. Today we are going to the next Is it lesson. Hmm? Is it on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the lesson is Am I a maker or a creator? We will go through the steps of what is the difference between making and creating. So, we had, I, I'm in the process of starting a new group in the parish or something like that to bring about a renewal and Maureen and I were sitting down trying to put the plans together on the computer. So, at a certain moment Maureen is saying, I hope this goes well, I don't know how it will work, etc, etc. I told her, I don't care because I'm just doing what I've been told <coughs> and the problem is over. And she said, wow, what a way to live life. <coughs> so the difference was Maureen was making a plan and I was creating a plan. That's the whole <laughs> difference. Yeah. I'm not putting her down, but I'm saying how our minds work. Mm -hmm. Maybe many of, of the times I also make, but sometimes I also create. So the distinction is therefore from how is making different from creating. Making comes from efforts of the ego. The ego makes an effort to what? To succeed. The ego makes an effort to go into the recesses of the mind and see what works and what will not work and this is better and that is better and has that, that um, um, juggling of the balls going on in the mind and then it says, okay, I think this will work. So it goes again into the ego. The ego then after making all the plans says, Let's wait and see. I hope, I think I can succeed, but who knows? And so there's a tension between that. And so, and also the ego forever said, I did all this work for what? To succeed. <laughs> so those are all the hallmarks of a maker. And the creator is different. So making comes from the efforts of the ego. Making involves planning from something you already know in the past. It has worked, it has not worked, it might work, it might not work. I know how human nature blah 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 goes on. Then you find ways and means to fit it with your ideas. So these are my ideas and now I am going to make a plan so that my ideas are now what is plan A, plan B, plan C. And plan A will have 1, 2, 3, 4. Plan B will have 1, 2, 3, 4. And making, as long as you are in a making mode, from the start to the finish, there is fear of failure always present there. Mm -hmm. Even when you are making ordinary onion, onion soup. <laughs> Hope it will work. Hope this blood will happen. I hope the sugar, uh, the salt is okay. But to see the onions, I, I should have cut it a little smaller. <laughs> There's always an element of fear as long as you are a maker. And the whole of spirituality course is to withdraw you from the grips of the ego because the ego always makes. You were never born to make. You were never created to make. That's the whole hocus pocus that we have to get rid of and tell ourselves what's the difference between creation, creating and making. 
creating is possible only because you are the perfect, perfect, perfect image of God. Do you accept that? And how long will it take you to really make it a part of your personality? It's time now, this course is coming to an end. So there will not be a super advanced course. <laughs> mm. So we have to come to that. I am, I, it is possible for me to create because I am the image of the one who created me. And therefore, I am a creator. I am a creator. And I will explain to you what's the meaning of creation. First of all, creation, if you go to the last slide, creation, there is no element of fear. I care a hang whether I succeed or fail. I care a hang whether people like it or don't like it. I care a hang whether my opinions are respected or not respected. I care a hang. Why? Because, for example, uh, Anna comes once or twice a week and comes and asks me, what should I do? So Anna, I tell Anna, you have to do this, just clean the windows, clean this, clean that. She has no fear. She goes and she does it because she's not making it. She's creating a clean window because she's listening to the one who's giving her the job. Are you, to whom are you listening who is giving you the job? Are you listening to, the, to your source or are you listening to your ego? When you listen to your source, the job takes place and you do it without fear. So, creating, you create because you are a conduit in the service of God. So what's the meaning of to you are a conduit? Can anybody uh, bring, just say something. You are, you are creating because you are a conduit in the service of God. What does it mean? God works through you. Yeah, yeah so, so you are allowing God to create through you. You are not doing the creation. If you are a conduit, a pipe yeah. doesn't create a water that is going through it. The pipe is a pipe, but allows the water to flow. Mm -hmm. So creating means to allow God to flow through you. End of story. Mm -hmm. So, and you can do that when you surrender your idea of what a thing is or is for. When you surrender that idea. So, what is the meaning of that? To surrender an idea means... So, somebody... Mm, okay. Taking only this, uh, this same thing, I, I got, I got this, this, uh, this thing into my heart, the door opening to, from three events that took place. And at a certain moment in that event, I said, now I step in. So one of the events was, I think last time I told you, the children in the CCT class throwing the horse on the ground. So that was a door opening. The second thing was, when I got in the, uh, in the Catholic, uh, New York Catholic saying that, 69% of Catholics don't know why the hell they are Catholics. <laughs> oh, so I said this again. And so then the third thing was for, for me to see in my, in my own surroundings <coughs> this, uh, the, the, the children of our, of, our, uh, of our parish just leaving the church <coughs> left, right and center. So the door opened. The first thing that the door opened was, uh, now what do I do? I'm a conduit, you open the doors, now tell me what to step inside. Okay. And so, things came. Things came. You, you, this is what I want you to do. So what do you want me to do? Go and go into your computer and, and go to YouTube 
and you will find something there. I went in the front door and I found there I found something that says something about it. Then, then I gathered the people. So I said, whom shall I gather? And Maureen came and said, I am there to help you. Okay. So like that, the, the doors kept on opening, ideas kept on coming. And now we are going to have that. So it is creation. I am not worried whether the people come to the church or not. That's not my ball game. My ball game is to go according to a plan that somebody else has and I am just an instrument to let that plan happen. Whether it happens well or not well, I carry a hang. So I can smile whether, whether because there is no failure and there is no success. What is, what is the Mm, the hallmark, how do I judge myself whether I am a failure or a success, it, it, it means a person who is creating. So there is no failure, there is no success. What is the success? The success is to be able to say at the end of the day, I did what I was told to do. That is success. That is success, not the project. I did what I was told to do. I was a conduit and the water flowed. I saw the love of God flowing through to me, hey, that's great, and that's the satisfaction we get. So, when you surrender your idea, what a thing is or is for, you surrender it. I don't want. Your only choice is to do what you do to enjoy the presence of love. To do what you do simply to enjoy in this moment, to enjoy in the moment of creating. To enjoy in the moment, you go to the computer. To enjoy in the moment, when you sit down with Maureen, you enjoy with the moment when you are explaining to the group. You enjoy doing that. So when you enjoy doing that, your happiness and the love of God flows through you and creates the results, not you. <laughs> you are enjoying while this is happening. So your only choice is to, uh, to enjoy the presence of love flowing through you and to give it to anyone who will receive it. What is creation? Creation is when the formless descends into form. What's the meaning of that? Creation is when the formless descends into form. Who is the formless? Only God. Descends into form descends into this form and at that moment creation takes place. So you become God incarnate. So that's the moment creation descends into form. Making is doing something for a purpose. Imagine all our life, we, we everything that we do has been done with a purpose. Now is the time for you in your in your 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s to say, I give up doing anything for a purpose. But I am going to, creating is equal to enjoying what you are doing with perfect happiness and surrender. So let us see. Who are the people who, who do these things? The people who do these things with purpose to enjoy what they are doing is uh, a painter. A painter, if he is not happy, he cannot go sad and say, he will, he will go, he or she will go and allow the brush to do what it has to do. He'll, uh, a, a writer will go, you know, for the last 13 or 14 weeks I've been writing that column, Sunday Notes and uh, this. Mm -hmm. So I, I just go before the thing is there and I go on the computer and within five minutes it is written. I didn't even plan what to write. Mm -hmm. So every week it came, it came. Except I, I see what did I write last week, now what to happen. And then I give it to Mark. And there it goes. So enjoying what you're doing because the, the love of God and the happiness of God is inundating you. So who cares? Who cares? Creating is enjoying what you are doing. So my dear friends, if, if you do not enjoy what you are doing, for heaven's sake, don't do it. 
don't do it because then you're making you you're saying you know what is that no pain no gain that is what the world tells you so you you had, you you put into you put into the pool of your consciousness a pebble which says no pain no gain so i if i want to if i want some something to work out well i have to struggle so you know what let's get ready for the struggle <laughs> so you're ready and so when when you when you fail and when you succeed yeah you yes. there is no struggle you you're happy before the event you're happy while the event is going on and you're happy when the event is over and then you say now what next event next source of of happiness you were raising your hand yeah okay you gave up in in my experience making is work yeah correct <laughs> making yeah. Is, making yeah. is work yeah creating time goes by yeah. and i don't notice it's joy what's the opposite of work i like what you said making is work creating and is play. and creating play. is joy creating is play <laughs> you well, play yeah yeah and you're that's happy true. playing that's true and that is what jesus says unless you become a little child and play the whole day you're not in the kingdom so a woman who gives birth would be creating yeah if she's happy doing it if she's happy doing it so she's not happy she's not happy she's, she's making a child she's just making so let us see the the there are there are ways let us see even romantic love okay <clears throat> there are people who say i'm going to make love tonight m a k e so what's the meaning of that work work, <laughs> work. because i have to satisfy her she has to satisfy me so we'll be good new mood in the morning and smile at each other and she make my pancakes and i make my dad and i go to work and all that but you know we have to make love others others the whole thing flops can you see that it is it is for a result it is for a goal it is for something it is for some i have to make after all i'm the husband i got married for better or for worse i don't know she's worse but uh, <laughs> so we get that so we are making and making and making but if if there is a if there is that love which which uh, what is the meaning of love to happily live together then you have your sex or whatever it comes is sex become as as happy as eating a pancake as happy as a, it's not a work it's not a duty it's not a must it's not a it's just a uh, a happening that 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 fills you with happiness it fills you with enjoyment and then the result of it is a child and then the child is loved from the moment of conception and loved i love the child uh, why you hardly know anything you hardly know anything and so i i love the child i love the child imagine what happens to that baby when the mother and father ha- have loved each other and they enjoyed it love and they are happy loving and then the child comes fruit of love that is creating so they created the child the others made the child so, so i find this hard this this difficult okay cuz sometimes i could be very very happy and peaceful and joyful and then a lot of times i'm not Yeah. even though there's nothing not to be happy about mm-hmm. how do you trans and i recognize it because of this like i recognize what's going on but how do you really transition back to that feeling how do you how do you do it like what you don't thing? transition you don't make an effort yeah. so now for example okay no no so you work with you all the time you you, you, <laughs> you are dropping a pebble of unconsciousness mm-hmm. saying it is hard Mm, yeah yeah and so Girl. and so what what does god say and then you say to you are telling god you know it is hard and god says yes it is hard remember you should have exactly. brought it, it yeah. To, yeah and then it yeah the, it it just echoes there so you are mm-hmm. saying it is difficult and god says yes it is difficult 
I know I can never change. I know, yes, you can never change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you go. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, yeah. So how how Because you keep telling yourself you're just that. telling yourself. So so catch yourself mm -hmm. telling yourself that and say, This is what I've been telling myself. This is the pebble I've been thrown into the pool of my consciousness. Yeah. It's time for me to change that pebble and put another one. And the greatest pebble you can put is the father and I are one. Mm -hmm. And the greatest pebble you can take out is I'm a victim. Yeah. So very often when you are in a bad mood, it is because you are in a victim mood. Mm -hmm. Something is not, the, the traffic on the road was so bad, so your mood <laughs> is gone. So, yeah. Why you are in a bad mood? Let it, the traffic is something neutral. It goes fast or slow. Somebody crashes, somebody doesn't crash. But you have decided to cast an opinion and say, they are wrong, they are wrong. And you know what? Because of this, my mood has gone. Yeah. If you became a victim, you put up blame on them and you become a victim. So, we go to this. Reality is the love that is God. Illusion versus reality. Making is an illusion. Why? Because it starts with your illusory self. And who is your illusory self? Your ego. So making is always an illusion. Starts with an illusion that is not real. What is reality? Reality is the love and the happiness that you bring to everything. That is reality. Do you therefore decide to live in reality or live with the illusion. Your will to express love is the will of God. You think God has another will? What, what does God want to do? God, God is, is love. He is love. The substance of God, the makeup of God, the his DNA of God is love. So if God is love and you are a conduit of that love you are a pipe through which love passes. So you, all that you have to do is tell yourself, you know what, God is expressing his love through me. Hey, hey, hey. God is expressing his love through me. What greater job can I get? What greater benefit can I get from this? This is the greatest thing that I have, that God has chosen me to express his love to the world. And not to the world, he has chosen me to express my love to all of you who are sitting down here by having this class for you. That's it. And so I do it, perfect happiness. I do it by enjoying it the whole time. And I do it, who cares for the results? So, the ego makes love. But your reality loves with perfect innocence. The love that is in you is being expressed and expressed and expressed and there is no ethel. Do you exert energy in trying to make love happen or do you celebrate that you are already the presence of love? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that, that is very very great sentence there. Mm -hmm. Do you spend your energy making love to happen so you, so let, let us see, let us see. So I go to the VA and I have one of you, this uh, Ellen coming regularly, week by week, week by week, and I have a nice group of people. All the group of the people who come to help me, there, how many we are? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Seven of us are there. Seven of us are there and all that they do is go for a long walk to, uh, to chamber, no, to ward, room number five, room number six and bring those people. One. Where to keep them? Yo, bring another one. Keep them there. Bring another one. Keep them there. Sixty, seventy people they bring every time and with so much kindness. And, and all the people who push the people around, so kind, all the volunteers, so kind, so gentle. So loving. And, and, hmm? loving. loving, so kind, so gentle to loving. The, one of the highlights of my, of my week is those two masses I say for them 
on Friday. 60, 70 people come and then they still keep on coming. So here it comes therefore, do you, do you exert energy in trying to make love happen? No, you just come. And last week, last week we had a, we had a couple who came, Ricky and his wife came and they were so crazy, they were just pushing people. Oh, Pinky. Ah, yeah, Pinky, Pinky came. Yeah. Pinky so Pinky. both of them came <laughs> and we had a very good time, yeah, no? We had a lot of people. Yeah. There, there was a lot of help. So, do you, or do you celebrate yeah. that you have already the presence of love? So life becomes a celebration. I am the presence of God's love in this world because He has chosen me to flow through me. So with this, your ego will say, you are not worthy. No, no. How can He choose you? You remember what you did yesterday. You insulted someone. You did that. You did this. You did that. You did that. And you will say, okay, I am not good. <laughs> it goes down. Then, therefore, uh, again, answering to your question, why right? we get that, how do you get back into that mood? Is to ask yourself, I am going to celebrate that I am, I already am, I have nothing to do to be, nothing to, to do in order to be the presence of God's love in the world, I already am. Did you blow the horn? <laughs> And Jesus tells us over and over again, abide in my love. Which is another formula saying, the whole time God is screaming from the top, move out from your ego, abide in my love. And I will show you what to do. Learn to abide in the present moment, to just simply create. And so creation requires no planning, Creation requires no goal, creation requires no success and no failure, creation requires no, mm, doesn't require any, any of your mind to, to work at all. Creation requires allowing things to happen through you and enjoying that. So, in every moment, receive love. In every moment, Acknowledge the presence of love. In every moment, breathe love. In every moment, allow it to flow through your thoughts, words, actions and all that you do. Every moment. So maybe you can, you can say this as a morning prayer. You get up in the morning and you say, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. I am going to breathe you throughout, with every breath I breathe this day. I am going to receive you with everything that you send to me. I am going to receive you through the weather. I am going to receive you through the room. I am going to receive you through the light. I am going to receive you through the people around me. I am going to receive you through the dog who pooped on my lawn. I go, I'm going, I'm going to receive you. Come what may. Acknowledge the presence of love. Isn't that great? So that's that's what that's called. Remember, I had a talk with you a long time ago, when uh, when Jesus told us, pray always. So if you start your day with this attitude, you are in prayer, 24/7. You don't have to do any mumbo jumbo. <laughs> no, you you are you are in you are linked with with your source. You are one with your source. The source and you are not the, what, the ray of the, uh, of the sun and, and, and the sunbeams are not different. They are just the same thing. When you have withdrawn all value from the past and the future and surrender to the present, you become a creator. For love has begun to live through you. Imagine that's the destiny of every human being and we are making a mess of our lives. How sad. Mm -hmm. That's the destiny of every human being to allow perfect love, to become a creator of love and allow love to live through us. 
holy relationship. Therefore, we are talking about marriage and all. So here you have a holy relationship. This happens when two beings choose to be in the presence of love. So let us see. It's not only two beings in, in marriage. So I'm sending out a call to the every everyone who wants to to take part in this in the project that I am doing. Sending out a call. So I've been told to send it out, and so it is going out now. They will come, and I have already decided to celebrate love as soon as they come. That's it. What's the agenda of the meeting? To celebrate love <laughs> as soon as they come. Have you no plans? No plans. I'm going to celebrate love. And how are you going to celebrate love? I don't know because I'm not love. I'm just a conduit of love. I don't. Can you see? So much freedom, so much the other, the anxiety. We have four days more. We have three days more. I have to do something. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a make, and that event that we are going to have on the 13th or 14th okay. will be a celebration of love. Me giving them the love and they passing it back to me. End of story. So when two beings or three beings or 15 beings or 40 beings or 100 beings choose to be in the presence of love, a holy relationship begins. So do you have a holy relationship with the people that you work with? Do you have a holy relationship with your spouse? Do you have a holy relationship with your mother, father, with your child? Do you have that? How much, how, how much, how much of a, of a conduit? Are you a small conduit through which the love of God finds difficulty in going through? Or are you a huge conduit to which it flows? You have to decide what type of conduit. The mysterious energy of love moves them, moves the group that is meeting with the energy of love, creates experiences for them in the moment, and when that moment is gone, it's gone. Finished. So, how was the meeting? Successful? I don't know. We enjoyed the meeting. <laughs> Success or failure? Don't ask me. That's the whole idea. See, I'm getting you into the mood of how to live your life. Live your life to enjoy the moment, not for success or failure. So, and the world will, will meet you and punch your nose and say, did you, did you succeed in what you went to do? And you scratch your head like a ninkom poop and you say, I did not go there for success. Why the heck you went there? Can you see the ego arguing with the maker, act, arguing with the creator? The ego arguing with the self, the 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 planner the arguing with the, with the one who says who lives in the presence of the one who said abide with me, I will do everything. So the world still cannot understand that. And very often we give up this stand in order to embrace the world. Yeah, next time I'll try to succeed. I will plan better. I hope you know. Uh, my ideas are fruitful. I must read some books. Do you have some good authors to recommend? Yes. <laughs> this is the message we've been getting our whole lives. Exactly. Now. You got it. <laughs> but so why have you not put it into practice? <laughs> Yeah. So this piece of space, for us, for most people, it's just not enough. Even though I actually know someone in Croton, and he's a beautiful painter. And to me, I think it's amazing because it's, no, I just enjoy painting. I don't need to sell it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to have an exhibit. And that's amazing to me. Amazing, But yeah. I think, for me, my whole life is living up to other people's so expectations in the world. Yeah. Because this yeah. is really all new. This and is, even for young people. And that's why I, Christ said, I give, you, I, give, I give you peace. Peace that the world can never give. But the world condemns you when you fail. The world condemns you when you don't have a goal. The world condemns you when you don't make a profit out of something. I got, I got huge talents, you know, and my talents are worth 
$4,000 a day. <laughs> so, you got talents, you're not happy with it, so what do you want to do? You want to sell your talents in order to put money in the bank. How sad. How sad. I got so many talents and I'm happy using them. Tell me, you know what, I can change the lights. You know what, tell me what, I can arrange a spirituality code. You know what, I can say a good mass. You know what, I can take care of the people in the, in the, in the you know what, I can arrange the CCD. You know what, I can smile at, I can smile at donkeys and not do it. So, you know what, that's the whole of life. That's the whole of life. But sadly, we have fallen into the world. It's time therefore for you guys at least to get it inside yourself and to spread it to, to the world, be my disciples and go. The mysterious energy of love moves them and creates experience of okay, the disciplinist. Are you making or creating? So how are you going to find out moment by moment whether your life is one of the maker or one of the creator? So this is what we, we are going to do. Try to find out in the moment how you feel when you are making something that you think has to happen. That's the key word. That's yeah. the has, has to happen. We were supposed to has figure that to. out a long time ago. Right? Yeah, has yeah. to, have to, should, must. or yeah. must. So, <laughs> how you feel when you t make those words, I must do it, I have to do it, I, you know, I got to do it, I should do it. And then, uh, compare it with the feeling that you get when you say, I'm going to allow creation to flow through me. Just stop and say. So you want to come back from, from, from a bad mood or something like that. How you feel when you're making something that has to happen. So, and when you feel you're allowing creation to flow through you. You're in suffering whenever you try to make love to happen. How do, what does that mean, Bob? What when is that? try to make love. Yeah, so we are not talking again now of, of romantic love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we are talking is, yo, I am going to make love happen. So how am I going to make love happen? So I'll plan. Okay, there is a class today at 7 o'clock. I have to do this, I have to do that, and then I hope I succeed, blah, blah, blah. The same thing what I told you from the beginning of the course. Or I can say, I don't care how many come. I, I'm not bothered, I'm not blessed, I'm not that. And so now, what is happening, love is being created rather than being made. Mm -hmm. So, to make is to have a goal. To make. So, if I wanted to, to have a goal, right in the beginning I would have told you, those who want to, to come for this course, and it has been successful, therefore, I would, I would have a deposit of $100. <laughs> Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Then I'm making love to happen. Now I'm enjoying it while it happens. So I'm creating love. The other one I'm making. It. I'm doing it for the hundred dollars or I'm doing it for whatever reason. So to be appreciated, to be this. So I have a goal. And so I'm mad and crazy till that goal is achieved. That is making love happen. But if you're not doing that, you're in enjoyment when you're creating in the moment. Has anyone seen me suffering while giving this class? <laughs> have you ever seen me enjoying while giving this class? And have you not also enjoyed it? Some of you understood it, some of you did not understand it, some, some of you it went over the head, but till you were here, it was the, it was the uh, osmosis of love going on. So that is what, you're in enjoyment when you're creating. So therefore, Enjoy being a child of God. That is what you are. You experience love, create love, and also witness and observe the flow of love. That's what a child of God does. The child of God lives holding the hands of God, experiencing Him, allowing Him to flow, and say, well done, Daddy, well done, good, you're a good dad. That's all we are called to do. As the holy child of God, this is your this is your identity. Who are you? I'm a holy child of God. That's my ID, not the egoic ID. Okay? You are created to create. You are not created to make. 
God does not make. <laughs> God creates and there is no creation that is created in the absence of love. So, as a holy child, you are created to create. You will never leave, lose the ability of observing the flow of love. So, right from the morning till the evening, till the next morning again, you will observe the flow of love going through you. And, and you know what? One day I was walking from from my from the rectory to 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 the funeral parlor, which is the Carter's funeral home. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I went, I was walking, say about 60, uh, 100 feet away, there was a man with a white dog. White dog. <laughs> he was taking the white dog. And then the dog suddenly stopped and looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> really? And so that man, like wondering, why the dog stopped? And I'm far away, I'm still 50 feet away. Then this dog stopped. Then it went on his haunches. <laughs> and two beady eyes looking at me. Just staring at me. And I said, I love that dog. And I love that guy who's holding the dog. And as I came closer and closer to the dog, that man was trying to drag the dog. You know what the dog did? It rolled on his back. <laughs> it brought tears to my eyes because the dog sensed Felt. the love that was being celebrated between the dog and me. And then I, I went about 20, 30 yards forward and there was nobody there. I don't know where they went. They went behind some tree or something. Like that. But that was a celebration. Mm -hmm. I felt that the dog and I celebrated. Huh? Did you reach down and pet the dog? Yeah. You did? Okay. Yeah, I, I went and I petted him and all. Uh, the dog was so happy, he turned on his back and said, Do with me whatever you like. That's great. It's too good to be true. You enjoy being the dispenser of love to the white dog. To the whole of creation. And this will never be taken away from you. That's true. This is what God created you for. Never. Your healed mind. This is a, this is a, uh, something which I, I'll send it to you and I want you to say this to convince yourself over and over again. The first one is my, is my basic statement. Your healed mind chooses only to repeat to itself, I and my father are one. Your healed mind chooses to say only, I am not a victim for what I see, for I have chosen what to see. The mind chooses only, I now choose to see with the eyes of love. I now choose to touch with the hands of love. I now choose to think with the mind of love. I now choose to taste with the tongue of love. I now choose to speak with the mouth of love. My mind chooses only to see perfect innocence and the will of my Father at work. That's a great prayer. Mm -hmm. That's a great prayer. I said it for quite some time and now while preparing this class I started saying it again. Not the first two lines. First two lines I have more or less digested. Mm -hmm. you know? But uh, the last two lines, I, my mind chooses only to see perfect innocence because I still judge, I still have an opinion about certain people, I still don't like certain people, I still like certain people. So I say this to myself, I can see perfect innocence and the will of my father at work in Rosalie, the will of my father at work in Michelle, the will of my father at work in Lee. I have chose to do that. And as you do that, it becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. This prayer, I would advise you to say till you become that prayer. Because of that, it does not matter what comes in your life or what passes away. Mm -hmm. It does not matter. The healed mind does not make what it wants to happen, happen. It does not make what it wants to happen. What, what happens 
it sees as a story of love. It casts its love upon it and allows it to go. It sees, a, it sees a, somebody having cancer, it sees it with love and allows it to go. It does not stop it there. I wish you get cured, I wish you get this, I wish the doctors are good. Let's pray and pray and pray and pray. No. At this moment I give you the love of God, flow to me to any, and bring you whatever is best for you. At this moment you see the accident on the road, somebody, uh, somebody bleeding and all, you look at this moment this is what is going on, is happening to you. I pour out the love of God on that person and move and wait for the next, next, uh, next moment. Because in each moment, you can do that. The healed does not make what it wants to happen, happen. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the meek of heart, for they have realized that making is an illusion. Being is the reality. That's the meaning when Christ said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Poor in spirit, I just want to be. I don't want to achieve. I don't want to, to have a goal. I don't want money. I don't want, I don't want. If, if, if it is the will, and if it is love, wants, wants me to fill my bank with millions of dollars, so be it. If love wants to take the millions of dollars and leave me naked, so be it. So be it. The awakened mind sees only the content in every form. What's the meaning of that? So, at this moment, I'm seeing the form of a certain lady who is a Jew, who is a quite attractive, who is little tall, the form, and so who has been a student in my class. I see the form. The healed mind does not see the form, but sees what the form contains. Mm -hmm. And what does the form contain? God. So the healed mind sees only the content in every form. In every form. That's what the saints used to say. I see God in every leaf. I see God in every flower. I see God in every human being. I see God in every worm. I see God in every drop of water. Wow! Sees only the content because under all the forms. So what is a form? The form is something that comes into time, lives, uh, remains in time, and then goes out of time. But the content was beyond time, lives as a form, and continues to live forever. So, can we therefore relate to each other with the content with and content, and that there will be therefore only one content, there is only God here, God there, God there, God there, God there, or if I go to, uh, once we live in the, in, the, in the world of form, then your, uh, your Ellen Abranica, you are a woman, you worked in the UNO, you are a Filipino, and I know. Uh, and you see the mess that happens. Yeah, the mess. And wh wh what would you like me to, to, to look at you and say, Ellen, you know, I can see God in you. What would give you real happiness? Yeah. And if you could all, all do that, even silently with, with everyone in the world, you may be a short man with a, with a beard that goes up to your stomach, but you know, I see God in you. And that's, that's the way to pass our lives. All ideas have a beginning and all form have a beginning in time, that's what I told you, that especially the body. Your body had a beginning, it ends in time and then it goes. All your ideas have a beginning and an end. How many ideas you had during the course of your lifetime? Where are they now? They have ended and gone away. Only love has no beginning and no end. It is the energy of God itself. Only love does not seek the purpose of the day. Only love does not plan what the day shall be for. Love, the awakened mind, surrenders into love and allows love to birth the day. That sounds like Shakespeare almost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful.
learning to choose again. So now you, you got that whole thing, what is making and all. Now I'm going to show you we how to choose again, coming again more or less to her question. See right now, how are you approaching this lesson? Right now. How are you approaching this lesson? Did you remember that you came for this lesson as a Christ already? Did you say, okay, let's see what Father got to say. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the class is interesting. Did you say that? So did you remember whatever happened, I am the Christ, Son of God. Did you remember to go through this lesson as something that was perfect for you in this morning? Do, at this moment, do you remember that this is the perfect thing for you, mm -hmm. created by love for you? So learning to choose again. Or did you determine to make yourself like Jesus by understanding the concepts and memorizing the words? Mm -hmm. No. It is out. The relaxed and healed mind just absorbs all knowledge. Mm -hmm. All knowledge, it just absorbs it. It doesn't, it doesn't read a book. It doesn't find an answer. It doesn't say like a mantra. Let's do Om, Om, <laughs> Om. <laughs> so it doesn't do all that. It just it doesn't have to do. The making mind does not receive anything new because it has already decided what the truth is. The making mind doesn't accept anything new. The making mind hates change because it has already dis decided this is not good for me and this is bad for me and this is good for me and that is bad for me. The making mind at once bisects everything. The loving mind says, I don't know what's good or bad, I'm a nut. But if love is flowing, let it flow. I don't decide what love looks like. I don't decide what love sounds like. I don't decide what love smells like. I don't decide all those things. You, you, I don't decide what the truth is. The making mind has decided. Whereas the creating mind, that is the making mind, the creating mind accepts that it is with Christ and it is living in the field of love. That's your mind. Are you living in the field of love? There's no other field. There's only the field of love. You can choose to to say where you are. Sees the mystery that arises and goes back to its source. Sees the mystery in everything. It comes into your vision, into your senses and it goes. It goes. Never come there. You begin to sense your infinite power. Would you choose what is unending yourself as a creator or as a maker? You have to choose. Do you want to live the rest of your life as a creator or do you want to live the rest of your life as a maker? And we all have very short time to live. So let's make the short time that we have to live as mm, fruitful as possible. Would you choose what is unending? The kingdom is just a choice away. What's the meaning of that? In the word of Christ, the kingdom is just a choice away. When he said, the kingdom of God is at hand. <laughs> he said that. Mm -hmm. So when you start uh, operating from the world of creation, the kingdom of God is at hand. He also told us, seek first the kingdom of God. Allow love to pass through you. And therefore, tell yourself, now I choose the peace of God. The Creator is one who delights in allowing the flow of life to reach hearts and minds with love. Delights to allow the flow of love. He enjoys. Watches love flow through him or her. Nothing is seen as good or bad. Any questions so far? And to sing the famous song, Make me a channel of your peace. That's the song you have said. You're just a channel. It was given to us by St. Francis of Assisi mm -hmm. in a beautiful song. Lord, I want to be a channel. I want to be. Make me a channel. So the word that we are using in this course is make me a conduit. I want to be a conduit and I'm refusing to. I go. I want to be a conduit. Just be an instrument. How do you do that? Spend some moments simply abiding in the innocence of observing your life and find out whether you're making or creating. 
every day stop for a moment and say am I making or creating and you have learned during this lesson and I am going to send it to you and then find out I offer this moment to the will of my father I have accepted the kingdom let me see where it takes me and that's the meaning on Christianity what does it mean thy will be done I make it complicated because we say thy will be done and we don't mean it. Then say, accept love, breathe it and celebrate it. I already said this line in previous slide. Then say, I wonder what would want to be created in this moment. Something is waiting to be created and I wonder what it is. And then the door will open and you go to that door. Enjoy, be happy and go to the next moment. Observe the will of God being expressed. The day belongs to the Creator. I am created to extend His will. Father, what would be a cool and groovy way to hang out this day? What would be a cool and groovy way in which this day should pass? Then do not resist doing whatever you are asked to do. context of healing is for you to say my mind has already been healed there is no more healing left it has already been healed so accept the healing for yourself how else has it been healed by the grace that birthed me in his image God made me according to his image so what's, what sickness do I have what illness do I have what suffering do I have no that which birthed me has, made, has already made me heal. I need only to use the power of the Christ mind to choose the perfect peace of God. I do so now and forevermore. I am one who knows. Father, what would you create through me in this moment? Into your hands I commend my spirit. What would you have to, uh, to create through me at this moment? I am going to do it. It is exactly 8, 8 p.m. and the class is over. <laughs> Any questions on that? Yeah. That's like casting your cares and just not, you know, regardless of the process. Like if somebody's sick, looking at it in a